Joseph Lelyveld is a Pulitzer Prize winning author and he recently wrote a book about Mahatma Gandhi and some of the accusations he makes in the book are interesting. Now he doesn't straight out say that Gandhi was gay, but he says that there are documents that indicate that he might be. Interesting. Now, this is a very touchy subject obviously for a lot of people and I have no idea whether this is true or untrue, but we're going to give you the facts as we know them, okay? And then you make your own decisions, but it's fascinating. Now, the author says that he obtained documents and letters that Gandhi wrote to uh, an architect by the name of Herman uh, Kallenbach. And according to those letters, he wrote things like this. Your portrait, the only one, stands on my mantelpiece in my bedroom. The mantelpiece is opposite to the bed. He continues to write, how completely you have taken possession of my body. This is slavery with a vengeance. All right, so when he's talking about the mantelpiece, you know, you could attribute it to like they do with Lincoln's letters. No, he really liked that dude, and back in the day, that's how they wrote to each other. And it didn't mean romantic, it just means like, you're, you're my best bud, okay? We're BFFs. And mantelpiece, okay, it's a cross from the bed, but it doesn't prove much, right? Taking control of my body with a vengeance, we're getting into some interesting territory here. And before she gives you some more of the devastating quotes, let me explain, and this is very important. India's Ministry of Culture looked through these letters and wrote back to the government, it is, quote, the highest priority that we purchase these right away. Okay, and they purchased them for $1.28 million so that they wouldn't go in a public auction. Now, they say, hey, listen, we did that because we thought that it's important for the history of India that we have Gandhi's correspondence. Others say, well, are you going to let us see those letters? Probably not. It might be because this is what's in the letters. Um, it also talks about how uh, Gandhi had cotton wool and Vaseline uh, next to his bed, and also that uh, it was a constant reminder of Colin Bach. Now, why would that be a constant reminder of Colin Bach? But again, it's still supposition, and maybe they used Vaseline, etc., in different ways back in the day. Who knows? It gets a little bit more detail. Um, they nicknamed themselves uh, Upper House, and Colin Bach was known as the Lower House. Okay, uh, now he said he made the lower house promise not to look lustfully upon any woman. And then uh, he, uh, the two then pledged to each other more love and yet more love, such love as they hope the world has not yet seen. Uh, okay, well, again, it's to your interpretation and maybe they just really liked each other as friends and it and it was expressed in a different way back then when you talk about the bed and you talk about the Vaseline and you talk about the upper house and the lower house the analogies are getting uncomfortable uh, and now let me be clear if it is the case that Gandhi was you know according to the interpretation of these letters gay or bisexual or whatever he happened to be it is obviously our position that who cares God bless there's nothing wrong with that at all and in fact I think it goes it's a, it would be a great testament why you should have gay rights all across the world because you might be discriminating against the next Gandhi and he might liberate your entire country and a billion people.